The premise of open data is simple. Government information about us, about our communities, the places where we live, is public by default, agnostic of purpose. But the promise behind that is pretty revolutionary. It's about transparency, it's about equity, it's about democracy, it's about people having much of the same information the government has, and about being able to engage on a more even footing with their government. So the story about open data that's commonly told focuses on the substantial benefits to the public. What's not as well known is how much open data benefits governments. With that, I'll focus on three groups within government that uniquely benefit from open data. The first is analysts. They're often the people doing the work required to make the data public. That means talking to other staff within their government, just not something that analysts often do. So when analysts understand the data they're using, truly understand it in a way that's only possible when they've checked the quality and completeness of the data, structure the data so it's easy to use, documented how the data is created and what the caveats are around it, their ability to employ that data, scope problems, or communicate insights is greatly increased. And public data makes it easy for analysts across departments to use each other's data. Uh, having systems set up where you have a repository, a data warehouse, without the friction normally associated with data sharing. The second group is anyone in a legal or compliance role. Publishing open data requires governments to assess and inventory all of their data assets, ones they make public, and even those that are sensitive or confidential. They may not publish these assets, but having a broad understanding of the entire landscape within the government, what data exists, how it's vetted, where it's stored, is something that legal and compliance staff rely on to do their jobs well. So any work to identify records through a discovery or FOIL process is improved, and the volume of these requests that staff receive can actually be reduced by making more information public. The third group is communication staff. So even the smallest municipality provides dozens of services. Often, different departments providing these services have their own systems and their own data, but about similar topics. And as a communication staffer, asking a question can yield a different answer, even a conflicting one, depending on who you ask. A single authoritative repository of information, something enabled by open data, can ensure that what's being shared is accurate and timely across departments, across staff, across government.